Hello everyone, this is Migo Hunter, and I'm doing scuffed commentary of a match, a wild match between Johnny D and Clan Natioi. This is for this is both their final match for the Dreadlands division. Clan is currently number one seed, and Johnny is I think third or fourth place, something like that. So it doesn't matter if Clan loses this; doesn't matter for him, but um, obviously for Johnny, it's very important. Can, this can potentially push him to third place, or he'll be fourth, and then he'll have to do a play-in match. So the first, I missed the first two games because I was um, setting up, having some audio issues, and uh, so I was eating dinner because I was really, really hungry. Um, but now I'm done with dinner, and audio problems fixed, so now I can actually properly um, commentate. First matchup was Jaina versus Midori, which Johnny took, and Clan counterpicked Jaina with BBB. Well, it's an interesting counterpick because it's not a counterpick at all, but it worked out for him, and he barely managed to close it out. Clan managed to close it out with um, Mist and Hurricanes. So now Johnny switched to his comfort pick, which is Grave, when he's also really good against BBB because you know Grave has. 0, 0.0 DP, uh, true power storms, really strong blocks. Um, he's fine going to range, etc. Grave has absolutely no problems with BBB. His innate gives him free DPs too if he gets if he gets it right. So, um, yeah, not a bad choice at all. Switching off Jaina and going to Grave, even though I think Jaina. I don't know actually if Grave or Jaina has a better matchup versus BB. I would say they're about equally advantaged, but Johnny is probably more comfortable with Grave. And Grave is just a more solid character, so understandable why you switch to him. <clears throat> so so far it looks like lots of building hand building, um, not much damage being done. Both of them have very large hands. And now Clan gets to go to range, which Grave is fine with because he has Q's and A's to get out very easily. Learn opponent 2. It's a smart one. Smart one to reveal. If he dodges an attack, he gets out for free. He might attack into an incoming k by BB. Either way, he gets a guard or a... Uh, Plays the attack side. He was trying to sniff out the opening Katro, which is very popular. BB players love to start Katro because usually a lot of players would like to um, block or dodge until you establish that you have Katro. Dodging 13 is pretty strong. Grave has full hand. Uh, I'm betting Clan. He only has one dodge in this card. I'm betting Clan uh, dodges till he sniffs out all of Graves' stuff. Yep, smart. Grave has more dodges than um, Vito, so Grave can keep at it longer than he can. Dodge, dodge again. Waiting for Grave to press any of his really fast buttons. There it is. And he blocks. Very, very patient from Clan. Was willing to bet that Grave would not block there. More dodge. That's half of his dodge is gone. Four more to go for Clan. And Grave has actually spent a lot of his dodges. 
Yeah, they both spend half their dodges. That's that's pretty that's pretty a funny coincidence. That would actually make Graves um late game T pos less threatening for BBB if he starts to run out of dodges. Unfortunate trade, but at least Johnny gets out of range. Clan got three aces. Piss and Hurricane still very good. Undercuts. True Power Storms. He still loses to his Q. Graves Q, I mean. With this kind of life lead, I would say BB is actually had, had a pretty big advantage here just because of his hand size and the life difference. Oh, wait. Baits out the real Joker. Wow. And then powers up for a third ace. Now T pause is definitely online for sure. Does Clan have the other Joker though? Smart block from Clan. Super patient, which is the smart thing to do against Grave if you want to force him to reach out to you and throw you. And Grave's throw game is, while well, his throw damage is pretty efficient, like, you know, throw into A for 19 damage, two cards. It um, doesn't have very high max damage. Of course, you have to spend an ace to do 19. So, yeah, it's very feels very safe to block out Grave, especially without life total. I think most players, or most BBBs, would have itched and pressed attack by now. Wow, how many dodges has Johnny spent? He only has two left in this whole deck. This is troubling for Johnny, that is. And he plays Teapot's raw. Not willing to reach out into a BBB. The clan senses it and just holds down back. It blocks even at 12 cards. Patient, very, very patient. This is going to be a rough game for Johnny to come back from. Just because he spent T boss and now he only has two dodges left. And he blocks at 12 cards, even after he powered up for two aces. I've never met, I've never seen such patient play from the BBB before, or just any player just willing to hold down back forever with the life lead. <gasps> but Johnny D unafraid I'm just six duffs the seventh the seventh throw BB seventh throw by the way is the fastest in this matchup 7.4 beating grave 7.6 so it was clan thought that he would respect piston hurricane 
Johnny says no. He does not care. Oof. That's a scary hand for Clan. But no jokers. If he can land teapots, it would be huge. Positively game changing if he can land it. But still lose it out to Piston Hurricane. Lose out to his dodge or just block, which Clan always likes to do. Maybe Johnny will find throw openings. There's one. Takes knockdown. He wants to threaten the teapot's mix up instead of com going for damage. What will he do here? He still has five, six normals, two normal. He has two, five, and six normals available. Cross him up into teapots is still very, very real. Or even dodge into teapots. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Gets the dodge. If he, unless he top decks a joker, this is guaranteed. Yup. <coughs> 45. He's been looking for it all game and he lands it. He actually lands it. This is, this is an insane game. And now Clan is on the back foot. Still has Piston. Still probably has the dominant attack. Well, actually, no. There's still two Qs left. You could sure you can sure you can chip him out. It's very possible. The game state just shifts just like that. Now, Clan at a disadvantage from when he used to have. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Double goal burst. <laughs> the double. I think in this situation, clan aces are still stronger. Just because 0 0.2 versus 0. Point. Well, no. Not necessarily. Grave still has tree chip from single A, but that's pretty strong actually. You could leverage uh <laughs> single A. No, I mean he has four life, never mind. It wouldn't really matter either way. <laughs> single A. Three three chip. Very good. Now any Q will definitely kill. Clan needs to draw dodges, or he will probably die. Or Johnny can just block out Piston Hurricane. Draw through his deck and get his Q. Power for aces again. Clan has two dodges somewhere. Forgot when he used knowing the opponent. Do you have any dodges? No, he did not. Wow. Blocks again. Clan is so afraid of the chip out. And Johnny recognizes that. Clan not willing to throw in this situation. Because his A still beats out his singular A's he has in his hand. But at this point, Johnny might have drawn this Q. And there it is. BB probably checkmated there.
Damn, if only I recorded the first two. Oh well. Clan might go back to Midori here. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Valerie? Okay. I think this is the first time um we've seen Clan Valerie in I in the I so far. So this matchup historically people's always said that Grave wins this matchup because of his speeds, 0, 0.0, 1.0. Very good. Grave also has really strong blocks. But, and also counters, right? Counters to beat Valerie from outspeeding him. But, Valerie does have the superior throw damage. Very, very high throw damage. Compared to Grave. So, that's one thing she has going for her in this matchup. Valerie at a high hand can convert a lot of damage, I think, compared to Grave. Just because Grave needs T-Bots for a huge burst damage. Starting to try to cross him, her up, but <clears throat> he had burst of speed, which he did not counter. Probably could not counter. into three normals maybe mtk well that burst of speed i think wasn't i mean it was worth it i guess to stop great from comboing or landing a straight but the payoff very low hadouken Clan will be happy to get rid of the Hadoken. Take eight and don't let that go back to his hand. Good block. Obviously, Clan's hand is very suspect right now if he can get. A decent combo off of K. So, blocking to get good cards. That's what you need to do. I think both sides in this matchup are, will need to pay very patient. The one just explodes with damage. K. K-Starter is pretty good. I mean, it does undercut what Valerie would play normally in neutral. Joker. I'm surprised he didn't save it for when Johnny actually has teapots. Maybe he has another one. Because K is a two combo, two combo card, so you can confirm it into triple ace. So damage off of K is usually not too bad. Uh, single A, good button, good button. Only loses to Valerie Q. Get off me. Don't troll me. Wanted to put some damage on the table. Grave wasn't giving it to her.
This is looking not good for Clan. He does have a huge hand though, as does Johnny. So, one good read and Clan can come back. Like that. Bravely throws Johnny's tooth. Considering how high Valerie's throw damage is, if that was a real Joker, I would not be surprised. It's pretty perfectly viable to burst Valerie throwing you, especially with eleven cards in hand. Especially with that, good bluff. Clan might go for a cross up here, but of course Grave has numerous options for to do with that. Namely, single ace, single Q. Baits out the DP. But hey, Johnny is happy with that exchange too. Doesn't want to give Valerie a chance to blow him up. <clears throat> Both have healthy hands. <laughs> Excuse me. Might see a dodge from Clan here, honestly. Dodge into J. Dodging would have been the right thing to do. That pesky 0, 0.0 speed. This is why this matchup is generally considered a great favorite, just because he has very good speeds. And he's very efficient. And his blocks are good. Ah, Clan does have another Joker. That's why he was fine bursting the K. It might not matter though, if Grave can just wear her down with folks. Joker might not even come into play. Or might not even be relevant. Grave doesn't get a lot of damage from combos. Oof. It's outsped. Very brave of Clan there to throw. Raw teapots would have ended his life. Did not respect Johnny. Real Joker? Question mark. No. 27, very respectable damage. Quite a bit more than what Grave can get from his throw damage. Actually, Grave's max throw damage is throw K plus plus. K plus, that's 21. Yeah. Lodge, Lodge, Lodge. If Clan can catch a throw attempt with a normal, that would be huge for him. Oof. He did not dare though. Too afraid of raw teapots. 19. He does have Joker, so the grave throws her again, it's not the end of the world.
Ace will favorably trade with everything she has in hand. Dodge into single A. Gets her a card. She still have plenty of dodgers available in deck, so she can still wear Grave Down. Lands, patient play, coming to, coming to effect again. Dodging graves, fast, fast stuff. That's the third bluff Johnny's played. Makes you wonder if he even has a joker at all. The good thing about constantly bluffing is that when the real joker comes, or when he decides to play the real joker, very high chance it will work. Q! Grave drew all his faces. And Valerie is oppressed. Still though, Valerie can still kill. Just one combo. Is anyone's the game? But at 5 HP, unfortunately, her Joker is not really going to matter. Unless she successfully Gold Burst or something with it. Yep, keeps it simple. Fourth Q. Bow. And that's game. Good shit, Johnny. And well well played to clan as well. They both they both really showed up today. Even though Clan did not play his signature Midori. I mean he only played for one game. And yeah, that's that would put Johnny. What's Johnny's record now? Whoops. Look at the bracket. That puts Johnny at nine three, which would put him. I think. Third place, yeah, third place, because Caroline does have one more set win than him. So 9-3, 7 set wins, they'll put in third place. And then we'll see if CKR can supersede him. He has two matches to still left to play. Yeah, Dreadlands is very tightly contested. Morningstar, not so much. But that's because Dreadlands only had two people drop. Anyway, yeah, that's it for me. That's the end of the really scuffed commentary. Thank you for watching and, you know, listening to me. Talk stuff. Bye.